JJTCC.com is the place to go for a custom-built website, custom graphic design work, and for promotional videos for your business or personal use. Check the link in the description below to get pricing. How's everybody doing? This is Joey from JJTC, and today we will be looking at the new Apple uh, application called Clips. So, diving right into the app, here's how it looks. They just, you know, kind of copied the design from FaceTime. And also, if you're wondering, I am recording the audio live this time. I'm trying something different. And this audio is coming straight from the Lumix G7 microphones built in. So, tell me how it sounds. So, getting into this, opening the app, it can seem a bit confusing at first. Hello? And, um, yeah, it's a bit confusing because it's really hard to get the gist of what this application is actually supposed to do. <clears throat> so, what we are going to do first is you can either take a photo, a video, or choose from your library. Just quickly like that, you can just pick one. But we're going to go ahead and take a little video. So what you want to do first is you can hold to record and you're making a clip right now and this will all in the end be in a full like movie kind of thing and uh, you know it's just gonna be like a little cool application video. So you can stop holding that to stop the recording and now you have your clip here. You can go ahead and play you can it. Hold to record, and you're making. And you can also ha add some special effects to it, so you can make it look like a comic book, which is my personal favorite. Making a clip right now, and this will all in the end be in a full like. But there's also many others that you can choose from, like uh, noir, instant, transfer, fade, comic book. I can't even read that. Ink, Chrome, and None. So we're just going to go ahead and pick the comic book one. And you can also add some different things onto it, like some stickers that are actually based on the time of day, your location, and some different other cool things. So let's just click one of these. And you can also change the text on here. So if you tap on it, you can say, uh, I'm recording a video. And there we go. You can, oh wait, no, you cannot resize it. Oh yes, you can. All right, there we go. You can resize it and all that good stuff. So you can add other different stuff and you can also add your latest emojis that you've used your frequently used emojis, which is uh, pretty cool too. So we can put this on here like this. And yeah. So now when you play it. A movie kind of thing. And uh, you know, it's just gonna be like a little cool application. And there we go. Both of the things are shown on the little clip. You can also add new clips by, you know, taking a photo. Let's take a photo, and you can hold to add a clip. Now you can hold however want, however long you want this clip to be. So let's just say that. And so if we go ahead and play you it, you can hold. You can from here hold to add a clip. Now you can hold however want, however long you want this clip. To and it does also record the audio, which is cool too. So whatever you're saying will be over that image. And so we can go ahead and show you this other feature, which is really cool. So we go to video mode here and we click here. We can pick a little dialogue thing. So it says speak while recording to add text. So if we go ahead and hold the record, Hello, this is a test sentence, and I am recording a video right now, and the whatever I am saying right now is showing up on the screen, like 
a closed captioning broadcast or something like that. So now if we go ahead and play that. Hello, this is a test sentence and I am recording a video right now and the whatever I am saying right now is showing up on the screen like a closed captioning broadcaster, something like that. So this is a really cool feature because if you want to add some uh, captions to your video but you don't want to do it in post in the editing software, you can just do it right here but the one downside is this is a square video and you can't choose any other option than a square so it's great for Instagram but horrible for anything else. So what I'm going to do here next is show you a bit of how I record my videos and everything using clips. So here we go. So here is a test video using the closed captioning on the video itself so whatever I say shows up on the video and also here is how I'm recording my videos I have my lights one bright white shooting down and the other is a more yellowish light shooting straight across using it as a bounce light fill light and here is my camera the Lumix G7 all set up with a little area so I can put you know whatever I am reviewing or unboxing right here so I can record it and it's just on a little tripod with my chair right here and the lights all hooked up over there so I hope you guys like that little you know kinda video it's a clip as Apple would say and uh, I used also I forgot to mention you can also add some title slides like this you can have you can pick any of these and so you can click this one it'll download it if you haven't used it yet and you just have to wait for it to download and then you can go right into the title slide just wait for it Okay, so you can go in here, you can change the text, anything you want to put in here, hit apply, and then you set to record it, and you set how long you want it to record for, and want it to be in your video. So now when you play that part of the video, and boom, there it is. Now I'm going to delete that from my little clip here. And one other thing is, you probably noticed some music in the background. You can also uh, put some music to it. So, one second here, I have to figure out how to get to it real quick. Yeah, okay, so you click here, right here. And right now, I just picked the Downtown Drive from the, uh, uh, you know, soundtracks that it comes with. And the cool thing here is the soundtrack, you know, it, it goes with your little movie and it changes length of the, of the song to match your actual video itself. So it will start on the video so here is a test and it ends when your actual video ends which is really nice and I really like that feature a lot because it just adds the music so, so awesome and it does it perfectly just it fades away right here at the end when it says thanks for watching so this is a great application and at first I thought this was absolutely horrible but my opinions have changed and I think this is actually pretty cool it's a it's a little iMovie but different it's it's a different way of using iMovie pretty much what it is this has been uh, Joey. If you want to go ahead and check me out on all of my social links, it's down below or on the screen right here. You can go ahead and check them out, share the video, subscribe, and like the video if you thought it was helpful. This has been Joey from JJTC, and I'll catch you in my next video. See ya.